Today, we're going to actually do a quick training where we're talking about basically saving, locating paparazzi stock photos. Now, a lot of you folks might already know how to do that, which is great, but I'm going to show you something that I recently learned and found out. As I was doing my paparazzi CSV file upload into my Shopify store, I noticed the handle column, which is the first can, uh, handle, first column in the actual um, CSV file, it is the same format that Paparazzi uses as well. So we're gonna get started. Let's go ahead and jump on in. Come on and say hello when you're jumping on in. What are some of the reasons why you wanna use Paparazzi stock photos? They're really nice photos, right? And um, it just makes it easier, a little bit more convenient than having to actually take a picture of the actual piece yourself. It saves time for us. Um, can you take a picture of the piece yourself? Absolutely, you can, okay? But just know that um, it does save a lot more time if you already have the paparazzi stock photo. Now, when I started off with my paparazzi um, business, I did vendor events, okay? And what happened was I got rid of a lot of the packages and, or I have a lot of the packages, but I no longer have like the photos, if you can say. Now, just some history. On your paparazzi website, you okay. guys know that you guys can pull up the CSV file. And I'm just going to pull up something for you folks so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. I'm going to share my screen in a bit. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining in. And don't worry, you guys can always watch the replay. Um, I'm going to show my screen really quick. You guys know you can already access all the stock photos in your order history. Okay, so let me share my screen for you guys really quick. I'm going to go to my paparazzi website. Let's go shop. So this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to locate paparazzi stock photos. You can normally get it in your order history when you either download the CSV file or when you actually go to your photos in your orders. But I'm going to show you another alternative method doing that. So let's just show the first method of getting your stock photos history right here. I'll just click on an order. You can download the images here. Now, remember, you can turn your side, your phone sideways as well if it's just too small for you, but let me blow it up a little bit. So here's another way you can get your images like this, or you can order export the CSV, which is going to be an Excel document, which is like a text format. That's if you're uploading multiple things, okay? Another way that I can get it, so for me, this is great for our hostess rewards. How is it great for your hostess rewards? Because I don't have the stock photos in my order history, right? And I don't have it in my CSV file as well, which is the most common way that I upload into my Shopify store. So I just grabbed my 10 pack of hostess rewards. This is gonna be the alternative way to actually search for your pieces of jewelry. And um, what I'm gonna do is you see this website above, this is actually specific to this actual page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just click on any piece of jewelry, whether it's in my order or whether it's I'm shopping. Let's just go to shop, okay? And let's just go here for Eastern Chime Zone Gold. You know you can download the pictures like this as well, but this is for something that I have no clue on how to find. Number one, you can Google it, but I can tell you from experience, a lot of the pictures are not good quality. And then you also have to make sure that it has the crown symbol. You also have to make sure that it's, because remember all stock photos need to have the crown symbol to make it compliant, you can't crop it out. You also have to make sure the quality is good as well. So if we can get the stock photos automatically through our paparazzi website, and we didn't even have to order it before, just know that this is gonna be a great way to do it. Okay, I'm gonna show you some shortcuts to be able to do that. So in my hostess rewards, I'm just gonna grab a piece of jewelry. So we got these white earrings right here. It's called Stylishly Sonoran in Your White, okay? If I have the name of the piece of jewelry, it's going to be easy to find, okay? So let's just go right here. Here is my paparazzi website link. Check this out. You just have to use from this, from this right here, this forward slash all the way here. So if you keep this as a template, that's fine but is you can click any product on the paparazzi website, whether it's from your orders or your shop store. And what you're gonna do is plug that name here, okay? I don't, this is hostess reward. We don't have stock photos at our luxury in our orders, in our order history, okay? So I'm gonna plug this name in, stylishly sonoran. Every single word needs to be, um, you have to have a dash between it, okay? So we, once again, after that, 
forward slash, it's going to be stylishly. Well, let me just make sure I'm reading comments. Sorry, guys. Okay, I see you guys coming in. Perfect. Hello, Janine. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jojo. So stylishly dash sonoran dash white. You're going to stop right there. You don't need to put earring. You don't need to put bracelet. Just the name and the color. So sometimes you'll have black silver. Just hit enter. Sometimes you need to hit enter twice, but it's loading right now, as you can see right there. Sometimes, like I said, just click here and just click enter, click here again, enter, but it should be that easy. Ooh, they're having, paparazzi's having a giveaway. Make sure you follow paparazzi on Instagram and on Facebook. So bada boom, look what you got there. You've got the name of the actual piece. You've got the stock photos, which you can just click download all like you normally do when you're shopping and so forth. You have the description, you have the item number, um, these are all great things. So if, whether you have a Shopify store or you're wanting to download them to put them on your Square store or you're wanting to download the book to put them in an album, whatever the reason is, you got it as if you bought the piece or you're still shopping for the piece. So let's pull out another item. Hopefully this makes sense. If it is, please put some hearts in the comments. I'd like to see if I'm on the right page and teaching you folks correctly. Um, if you guys are hearing it correctly and you guys understand, put some hearts in the comments. So from my host Rewards packet, I'm going to pull out another one. It's called VK Vagabond in pink bracelet. That's what it's called. So I'm just going to go to the top up right here. Pink Vagabond. Oh, wait, not pink. VK. VK Vagabond. Good. I see the hearts coming in in pink. Remember, it's just the name of the piece and most likely the color or that metal, like silver gold. So I'm just going to once again go up there and click enter again. Do, 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 do. Do, do. I hope this helped you guys out a lot. Um, one of the things, <laughs> Jojo, you put heartbreaker. There you go, VK Vagabond. I just thought this was amazing because like I said, one of the things that I struggled with is I have all these hostess rewards, right? I can give them as giveaways, but why not put all the really good pieces that I know will sell great on my Shopify store, right? Um, another thing too is when I did my um, vendor events, um, I, they're all separate from my normal inventory. So now instead of searching for all the pieces in my order history, which you can do, and I'll show you guys how to do that, I can just easily go to it and see it here. Now the, I'm also doing several other things as well. So on my profile, go to the bottom and click complete order history, and you can actually search for this product. So these are hostess rewards. So most likely I do not have them ordered already, but if I were to actually go to a piece of jewelry that I did order on my website, for example, this one, Wildflower Wayfair in white, Wildflower Wayfair, I did order this piece. I can go and click on the search bar right here in my order history and actually type the name of the piece. So Wildflower, um, it'll come up with anything that's with Wildflower, wild, Wildflower. And so I did, did get them in two different colors, right? So I can even put white to make it more descriptive. I got it in orange as well. So it looks like it came up for both, that's fine. I'll just click on this one and then I'll look to see which one it is. If it's in this one, which it is right here, I might've actually ordered it twice. Then now I can use this right here to download it or I can use it as my CSV file, which I like, okay? So any questions right now? Yes, you can. And I just showed you random jury. You should be able to find it all as long as you're searching it correctly. I have this 10 pack hostess rewards right here. I just pulled out randomly two and it worked just fine. So that is gonna be the beauty of it because now you're gonna have all the pictures, the descriptions, the name of the piece. Now you do need the name of the piece in order to actually search it. I'm gonna show you another way to search it in case you don't have the name of the piece. So, but do we have any questions right now for searching it like this? Let me grab one more random piece right here for my hostess reward. Um, Straight to the top in gold, straight to the top gold. Straight, remember separate it by a dash to the top gold. And I wanna show you what it looks like here. So there is all these words right here, straight to the top and then gold. So make sure you put a dash in between it. Hit enter or click in there, hit enter. Like I said, sometimes you just have to click in there. Oh yeah, girl, you should be able to find, you should be able to find it all. So this is like, think of it as a paparazzi 
stock photo bank. Okay. And like I said, I'm sure a lot of people do not know about this because I have not seen it in this past almost three years and no one's even mentioned it. So I'm thinking this is very, um, not new, but this might not be shared knowledge, I guess you can say. Okay. So right there, I just uh, did another one. Hello, Miss Maricela. I'm going to show you one more way to actually um, search for pieces. So when I did my vendor events, I got rid of a lot of the packages. So therefore, I don't know the names of pieces. But what I can show you is another tool to utilize. Can you just search for straight to the top gold necklace on Google? Yes, you can. This, is, this was very easy that I just did. The thing that you risk, though, is the quality of the photo from somebody else's website. You know what? Let's just do that with everybody. I'm going to run it with you guys so you guys understand how simple this is. Straight to the top, gold, paparazzi. So I'm already typing all this in just to search it on Google. All right. Now I'm going to have to search. So I usually hit images on the top. This is the old way of me doing it. I have to make sure. So you see this one? I don't even know if this one is compliant because it doesn't even have the crown symbol. This one, on the other hand, does. So I, what I was doing was I was right-clicking it and saving it which doesn't seem to work right now, but let me just click that photo. I'm probably going to somebody else's website right now to grab it. I'm going to Mercury, which we know we can't sell jewelry on. So look at this. I, I don't even know if I can even use that because I can't see the, the crop simple right there. Okay, so I'm on Mercury right now. I can right click this, save image as. Hopefully that works. Um, I'm just gonna put it in my downloads folder and then we'll go to it to see if it works. That's one photo out of the three that I could actually get for necklaces. Now let's just see if Mark Mercury has the description. I'm gonna go back to there. That's just the first one that I went to because you have everything here. Look, they don't even have, they just, they just put this in the stuff. So you don't even have the official description, which is fine. I can go back and I can try to find another one, right? So you see all this unnecessary searching? What is this? This is some, from somebody's website. So I can go ahead and try to save that. I'm gonna just save it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, okay, maybe there went in my downloads folder. So I don't have a description here. Um, let me try click on it again. No description. So I've already wasted my time already. I'm already irritated <laughs> because it's taking me too long just to find one piece of jewelry. Um, but you do have a lot of things that you need to consider. So you might pick the wrong one, right? I might, oh, like you're just rushing and you save this one, but it's really not that piece. So something to consider as well for that. Um, hi, Angel. Yay, Janine. I'm glad you got this, girl. This is going to be really helpful. Let me just look. Um, I'm going to open up my downloads folder just so you guys can see how it downloaded. So this one looks like a good one. But like I said, I only got one out of the three. So here's one. And then here's my second one that I did, which I downloaded. And then we did see that it had the crown symbol initially, but look, it cropped it out. Okay. We know that that is against compliance. So we don't want to upload or actually post those out. Um, so that there's a full proof that that's not what you want to do. You want to use this method of doing this search okay and it gives you more info too this is how easy it is when i get here all i have to go click is download all i'm on my laptop so it is quite convenient um but guess what it's all right here one two and three okay those are the three pictures right there that i can see the full necklace with the earrings the model wearing the necklace the model wearing the earrings here it is my downloads folder and you'll see the three right there right there necklace and earrings the model wearing the earrings and the model wearing the necklace um, one other way I wanted to show you is that, like I said, I, I have a lot of loose jewelry without the name of the packages. So what I do is I use Google Lens to actually search for this. And you can continue to save the pictures, but like we said, we already went through that process. And I'll show you what Google Lens looks like. Um, it is like an app in Google, kind of hard to say. So this is what it's going to look like. Just go to your app store and actually um, go to your app store and actually just search Google app. I'm sorry. Go to your app store and search Google Lens and then just download it. Then it'll look like Google. So there's your Google. And right there, that camera is going to be right there. Okay. Now, if I actually, I have the option of taking the picture like I do here. 
or I can actually just um, use my photo bank. So if I took pictures beforehand, I can just go to my photo gallery there. So what you're gonna do is, like I said, you can take a picture of this piece, which I'll do for you guys right now. Bam, I took the picture, so it's gonna be like that. And what it's doing is it's searching to see what pieces are related to this, okay? What I'm looking for here, which, is, which was a horrible picture, <laughs> hold on. What I'm looking for here is the name of this piece. So it gives me all these options. This is just another resort. You won't, you won't necessarily find this, but this is just another way through a picture. And if you find that exact one, then you know the name. Now you can search it through the paparazzi website, which we can see here. Another alternative way is, um, is to actually, how would you say, search it on Google. So if you go to Google and you just put cat's eye, men's ring, men's ring, paparazzi ring, cat's eye, men's silver ring, paparazzi, then you might find it. Then you'll have the name too as well. This one's kind of hard to find this, this particular piece, but just know that is an option. It's like how we're doing it now, right? So this is going to be it. I'm gonna look through images. And like I said, I'm just getting the name, okay? And um, this one is hard to find. This one is probably, that one is it right, oh, right here. This one is it right there. So now I have it and I just need to grab the name. So it's gonna be the prospector in brown. So I go here, the prospector brown. And it should pop up after I hit that. Well, I hope this answered your guys. I hope this helped, this training helped out. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Hi, Ellen. The training on Derek CSV China has loading. Good. God bless you too, sis. Thank you, Janine. Um, so it's loading right now. And I just found the name. And this is the actual piece right here as well. So just know I found the info right here. So that was the second way of actually searching it. I hope you folks have a nice day. You do watch the replay and I'll talk to you guys soon. Aloha.